Good morning. It's our letter from home. Did you miss me? <laughs> hey, uh, I imagine some of you prayed for us. Uh, there were some of you that uh, just gave us special blessings as uh, Shelly and I celebrated our 48th wedding anniversary. I think I told somebody the other day that it was 38 because I couldn't just, I couldn't actually believe that it's been 48 years. It goes by so fast and so much joy, but we had a wonderful week together. Uh, we put about 1,400 miles on our car. I drove the whole time. And get this, we didn't have one fight. So, I mean, you know, and that's pretty amazing. So, yeah, get, marriage gets better and better and better. And uh, so I praise the Lord and and feel very, very blessed. Uh, this Sunday, we're going to be in Matthew chapter 21, 1 through 11. I'll be looking at the triumphal entry, but our emphasis is going to be on humility. And I'm pretty excited about it. I'd appreciate your prayers. Be praying for this Sunday and the coming Sunday, as we would for every Sunday, that the Lord would just descend upon us with his spirit, touch us each deeply, minister to our needs, remind us that we are a community that is out of this world in that our destination, our hope, our future is sure and secure. And we are a people that are not elite, but we are a people that are separate and different because of Jesus Christ. And so we do live to inspire Christ-likeness because it's Jesus who inspires us. It is Jesus who energizes us. It is Jesus who not only saves us and forgives us and loves us through it all, but it is Jesus for whom we live and we seek to be like him. And so we are a community of Christ-like people who reach out and raise up and reverence Christ together. And I look forward to being with you this coming Sunday. I hope you can join us, invite a friend, reach out to people around you. You are a light in the world that Jesus said is like a light on a hill. So we love you. God bless you. Mwah. Hello, ladies. Well, there is a lot coming up. I told you we have a lot cooking for summer and that we do. So I wanted to keep you informed that we are planning a very, very special three-part series for our sixth grade through eighth grade girls. Now, this is our incoming sixth through eighth grade girls. So we will have already had promotion Sunday. So yes, your girls that are just going into sixth grade are welcome to join along with you moms. And we're calling it sixth through eighth grade girls, let's talk. Yep, we're gonna be talking about some deep stuff. We want conversation to start between you and your daughters about their sexuality, about their purity, about living as a young woman in this day and age. They are facing things that you can't even imagine. You may not even know some of the things they're hearing about, but guess what? When we have talk time, you're gonna hear about it and you're gonna be prepared how to train your daughter to be a godly woman. This is exciting. I am so pumped about this. So put it on your calendars now, June 13, July 18, and August 1. These are all Monday evenings from 5.30 to 8. Our talk times will have pizza, a little bit of swim time for the girls, but really we're going to be talking. So 5.30 to 8 p.m. Moms, I need you there you've got to be with your daughters because this is not only for them, but this is for you. So you're going to hear a lot more about signing up, getting registered for that. Um, but I know how busy summer gets and I want you to put it on your calendars. Also, we're going to start our Panera Bread Thursday mornings at 930. That's happening in May. We'll be meeting the third Thursday of the month from May to August. So again, you can mark your calendars for that. And Bible study will be around the corner as well. And I will give you the details of how to get a book, how to sign up, and the dates for that next week. So have a wonderful day. Can't wait to see you Sunday. Bye-bye.
Hi, Grace family. For junior high, we have a really exciting event coming up in a couple of weeks at Adventure Park. So Friday, April 29th, uh, from 5 to 8 p.m., we're going to be at Adventure Park. We'll have a pizza dinner with all the attractions open, uh, mini golf, bumper boats, the race cars, and the batting cages. It's going to be a really, really fun event. So if you're a junior high student, uh, sign up and also invite friends to sign up. It's a night that you're not going to want to miss. So that's what's coming up in junior high. Uh, it's really, really great. So thank you so much for all your support and love for our students. Hi, church. Hope you're doing well. Hey, a lot of great and exciting things happening uh, for Mission of Mexico. Thank you so much to all of you who have donated and contributed and committed to being prayer partners and helping, you know, everything that you've done to help get our team prepared for our mission trip to Mexico. We are leaving in just a few days uh, and I am very, very excited about everything that's, that everything that we're going to be able to do, all the opportunities we have to serve and to, uh, to minister to, to the Lord's church down in Mexico and serve God's people. Um, there's 33 students and 17 adults, so pray for all 50 of us. Um, pray for us, especially on, on Saturday as we travel and then just throughout the week as we do all sorts of ministry and outreach and, and so much more. So thank you again for everything that you've done to, uh, to support us and help get us to Mexico. Um, if you, you may remember that we have been doing, um, this thing where you've been signing, you know, we've been getting people to sign up to help outreach to the, the neighborhoods around Avisadero. Um, some people have even been, um, reaching out to the communities right around our office building, which is really exciting. If you want to join this group, I should have held it up a little bit longer. Um, but you can join this text group and just text this number 81010 and type in the message HSM at HSM Deviz, um, and that'll get you the communication next uh, Wednesday, especially. Delinda Irvine's gonna run point on it, but um, we've just been passing out um, kind of communication cards, knocking on doors in the neighborhoods, inviting them to church, to join us at church, um, and, and just letting them know that there's a church in their neighborhood and, and that they are welcome. Um, and this is especially exciting with Easter Sunday in, in a week and a half, um, great opportunity for us to invite people to church because that's the day people often come to church and it is there's no better day for them to hear about the gospel message than Easter Sunday. So um, join in. It might seem terrifying, but it's really an exciting opportunity. And, and as Christians, like this is what we're called to do. So um, take the leap, trust the Lord, sign up, help get the word out about, um, you know, about this great opportunity. Thanks for all that you do, church. We love you. God bless you. Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great week. We are so looking forward to Easter Sunday. We are gonna have children's ministry um, and Awana, we're gonna have a break next week. So we won't be meeting on the 13th. So we'll be meeting the following week and we'll have a couple more weeks together. And then our award night for Awana is going to be May 11th. So we're gonna have some ice cream afterwards um, after our award ceremony. And we're looking forward to that. We'll give you guys more details about that later, but I hope you guys have a great week and we're looking forward to celebrating with you guys Easter. Hey, church family, a few things. Uh, this weekend, Satellite is going to go to Heartland Christian Camp and serve up there. We're going to help them get ready for their upcoming camps by painting, raking, and doing some other handyman work up there. So please be praying, not only that we help them, but also that we grow together as a team. So your prayers are much appreciated. For those interested in going to the family mission to Mexico, we had our information meeting on Sunday and we had eight families there, which was exciting. If you weren't able to make it there and you want information, please contact myself or Julia Thompson and we'll get that to you. The deadline to sign up for the retreat, I mean, not for the retreat, but for the trip is going to be uh, Sunday, April the 17th. So if you're interested in going, you didn't get from information, please contact one of us. We'll be happy to um, get that to you. So guys, I'll see you on Sunday. Love you all. Happy Thursday, Grace Community Church. I hope you're having a great week. We're getting geared up for Easter. We're excited to celebrate Palm Sunday this week with you at our regular service times at 9 a.m. and 1030. And the next week, we will celebrate Resurrection Sunday together as a church on April 17th. Again, we'll have a 9 o'clock service and a 1030 a.m. service. So invite your friends for our Palm Sunday and our Easter Sunday services. We're excited about those. We are working on ways to accommodate more people for our Easter Sunday service. Um, but it's probably going to be a little tighter than you're used to. And we, good thing we all love each other. So it'll be fun. So we're looking forward to celebrating um, our risen Savior together. I'm so excited for this time of year. It's our favorite time of year in the worship department. And we're looking forward to celebrating with you. So we'll see you guys on Sunday. Have a great rest of your week.
Good Thursday morning. Hey, um, here's your GCC news alert for this week. Um, and, and actually don't have a lot to tell you in relation to the building and construction and all that. We're still in a bit of a holding pattern, as I said last week, waiting for the approval of the construction line of credit. Now, of course, we can't do anything until that is approved. We really do, though, I checked it uh, this week to check again. We really do anticipate, though, that we will be, that that will be completed and we should see some movement on our ministry center uh, construction towards the end of April, at least maybe dirt moving and stuff like that. So you can look forward for that and be praying. I also would encourage you again to please continue to pray about how God might use you to give uh, to enter the land. This would be above and beyond your regular tithes and offerings and to give so that that gap between what we need to build and what we have will be lowered. Again, I'm praying. I know it would be a bit of a miracle, but I'm praying that we won't ever have to use any of the construction line of credit. And so um, be praying about that um, with us. Hey, I'm looking, I look forward each week to the services at Divisadero. I just can't tell you how wonderful that venue is. Boy, everybody comes into that courtyard. It's just such a great environment. And I hope if you haven't been worshiping with us that you will come and you will worship with us. It is really a wonderful environment. And, um, you know, Hebrews tells us to not give up meeting together. And so I just want to encourage you in that. Hey, God bless you. Make it a great day, and I hope to see you on Sunday.